hello everyone and welcome back again to my channel so in today's tutorial we'll learn how to make a very simple crinoline fascinator so these are the materials i'm using and i have my alice band the fishing line my bias and my glue then i have the crinoline and the applique so we'll start by measuring out the alice band okay so you take your alice band you measure it so from this, you get the measurement you use to also cut your crinoline. So what I got here was actually 13 inches. So I'll go ahead to cut 13 inches as well on my crinoline. All right. So I measure that 13 inches and I'm just going to go ahead to cut it out. Okay. So next thing to do now is to tie the two ends of this together. So I'll be using my normal sewing thread that has uh, the same color as my crinoline. So I'm just going to use it to tie the two ends together before we move to the next step. If this is your first time of visiting my channel, you are highly welcome and thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. I create contents on how to make your hairdryer and your hairdryer designs. So I would suggest that you kindly subscribe, like and share my videos if you find value while watching it. Okay? And to all my subscribers, I appreciate you all. Thank you all for sticking with this channel. So right now what I'm simply doing is still to tie the other end of my crinoline. And when I'm done doing this, we'll move to the next stage. This fascinator this very fascinator is very simple headband that you can use for your wedding for bridal train and just a simple hair fascinator so right now you can see how i've tied it i'll go ahead to place it place the alice band at the center of my crinoline and i will go ahead to stitch it to hand stitch it on my alice band so right here, I'm using this fishing line. You can as well use a matching color of thread that fits your crinoline, okay? But for this tutorial, I'm making use of my fishing line, all right? So that is simply what you do. Then we'll move to the next stage.
okay guys so i hope you followed up to this stage you can see that i've already made my alice band you can see how the crinoline sits on it so what i'm going ahead to do right now is to apply this applique on it you can actually use this or use your pearls your stones your trimmings the lace trimmings okay so you can actually use anything of your choice you can even use roses like small small roses or the bold type to now go ahead to decorate this very crinoline i hope you followed all this teaching and i hope it was easy actually to learn i would love to see your practicals okay you can actually redo it and tag me to it at naked collection on instagram and also diy fascinators and headpieces on facebook okay so thank you for always visiting my channel and joining me in today's tutorial i appreciate you all so i will see you all in my next tutorial